Hi and welcome. Nice to have you here. Please take a seat. The event OpenQRM Virtual Data Center, hosted by the OpenQRM Research Team, will start soon. Hi and welcome to you all. Great that you have joined this event and presentation. My name is Matt and I'm the project manager of the OpenQRM project. Our research department, which is always looking for new technologies, is inviting to this presentation about OpenQRM Virtual Data Center here in Second Life. We are now coming to our agenda. I will start with an overview about the OpenQRM Data Center Management Platform, explain the idea of this research project and give details about the actual implementation and features. After a live demonstration of the current status of the project, there will be later time for your questions and a discussion. This section of the talk will give a detailed overview about the OpenQRM Data Center Management Platform. I want to make sure we have all the same picture about what it is and what it is doing. The philosophy of OpenQRM is a clean separation between the different aspects and modules in a modern data center, as there are servers, services, storage and network devices. The basic concept is to image a service to a file system image, which then becomes the server template, a so-called golden image. The golden images contain the full operation system stack plus the required applications and are hosted on one or more storage servers. OpenQRM is integrated with different storage server types, for example NFS, iSCSI, CoRate, LocalDisk, LVM or NetApp, and features automatic creation of golden images by fast cloning. An additional benefit of hosting the file system images on storage servers is that all backup and restore happens in the central place on the storage itself. Physical servers are detected by OpenQRM automatically by simply netbooting them via PXE. They are then immediately available for deployment. Provisioning of new servers happens fully automatically by creating and starting a virtual environment, so-called VE, which is a logical abstraction of a service in the data center. The profile of the VE contains actual information about how the service should work. For example, should it be a multi-server, cluster, how many physical or virtual resources, how many CPUs and RAM it needs. It also includes parameters for eventual service level agreements like high availability, automatic scale up and down according to the system load, requirement of special hardware and so on. Another basic concept of the OpenCRM server is the separation between base features and add-ons. 
To keep the base server small and robust, it is designed in a pluggable way. Its architecture allows developers to add new features to OpenQRM or change and enhance existing mechanisms via plugins. Those plugins interacting with the base server via a well-defined API so that new features can be added to the OpenQRM server without the need to change a single line of code in the base. For example, the virtualization features, the support for non-Linux operation systems, enhanced system service monitoring via Nagios are added to the base server by additional and optional plugins. OpenQRM reduces deployment time to boot time and manages provisioning in a heterogeneous data center automatically. It is a robust, flexible and open data center management platform which can be enhanced by plugins easily. Here an overview of a typical OpenQRM environment. On the right side we have our physical servers, the available resources in the data center. On the left side we have one or more storage servers on which the file system images are located. In the middle there is the OpenQRM server with one or more hard standbys set up in a high availability mode to not become the single point of failure. Provisioning and deployment is now managed fully automatically by OpenQRM. Depending on the data center needs, the OpenQRM server may have several additional plugins installed, like for example the Nagios plugin for enhanced system and service monitoring, one or more virtualization plugins to provide partitioning of hardware to better use and utilize the available resources. The idea of this research project is to create a data center within the Second Life virtual reality and to connect this to a real-world, physically existing data center managed by OpenQRM. Basically, it is about using Second Life as a 3D user interface for the OpenQRM server. What is the gain? The gain is to make system administration more intuitive and accessible for less trained people. It could also be used to geographically map the IT infrastructure of a company to a virtual and provide location-based administration. Another benefit is the accessibility of the data center for the system administrator from wherever a second life client is available. Last but not least, it's a lot of fun too!